I want to share a tip with you guys about being able to take a PDF file that you create from InDesign and just do something really cool with it. Make it interactive. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can do in InDesign. You guys can create buttons, you can do you know full screen, you can do transitions, etc. But what about something like this? What if I come over here and I want to make this look more like a web page where we click buttons and we can change content on the page? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to show you guys. If you take a look, you can see what's happening out there. The way this is working, I'll just show you behind the scenes. On a PDF, we can actually have a layered PDF. So in, in Acrobat, you can see all the different layers over here. And as I click, it just simply turns on and off layers, which is pretty cool. So the idea is that we want to set up a file like this in a program that allows us to save a layered PDF. And Adobe apps, you can do that, uh, InDesign in particular. So we can save this. So let me show you how I did it. So I'll go over to InDesign. Here's what the InDesign file looks like. Pretty simple. Just, you know, a couple things out here. Um, I've got pictures, you know, stuff like that. You can see that I've actually got the text doubled up here. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the layers are where you want them. So I'll go over to layers over here. And you're going to see it's exactly the same structure that you saw in Acrobat. So I've got an other layer. If I turn this on and off, you can see this is stuff that's going to be static. And then I've got like the Spain picture. And you can see, look behind the picture and the Spain text. So all I'm going to do is basically hide and show this stuff. So you've got to make sure that you've got your layer structure in order. Name them so you guys know exactly what they're for. Because once you get an Acrobat, if it's layer one, layer two, layer three, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, so make sure you do that. Get your content out there. You can do almost anything with this, you guys. There's tons of cool stuff. Our, the idea is that we're going to create a button, and you can create the button in InDesign if you really want to. Okay, but I just I tend to do it in Acrobat because it's a little bit easier. I don't know for me. So once you guys create your layers, get your content out there. If I go to File and Export, and you can do this from almost any version of uh, InDesign, as long as we can make a layered PDF. In InDesign CS5, I want to make sure it says Adobe PDF Interactive. I'm going to save this as swap too because you guys saw the original. I'll save it. Now here's the catch. You want all pages, go for it. You want to probably view it after you export it. Embed page thumbnails, I almost never do that um, because it just adds file size. And every version after like Acrobat or Reader, like five or four, immediately creates them for you. This is the key. You need to make sure that it creates Acrobat layers. So if you guys like file export this file or you know, go to Acrobat Distiller, whatever. Just make sure the layers are selected. You can turn those on. If you want to make a tagged PDF, that's fine. It makes it more accessible. There's a bunch of other things we can do here, like open in full screen mode. That's kind of cool, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, I just want to get to the good stuff here, the create Acrobat layers. I'll click OK. It's going to make the file. Whatever. Got my colors. It should open it up in Acrobat. There we go. Now, there's no, there's nothing going on here, you guys. If I click, there's nothing happening. You guys will see that I actually created these buttons, though, in InDesign. And that's just using the buttons panel. And you, you don't have to do it in there. You guys could actually come up here to forms and create a button on it or create a link even to do that. So I'm going to go over to my layers panel, open up the layers. If you guys don't see the layers over here, you can right click in the gray area on the left and you're going to see layers. You can kind of open that up. And then you can see the layers. So you can just turn on and off content just to see it. Now, if you guys did not create buttons, Here's what you can do. Come up to the toolbar up here. Right click or control click on Mac. Anywhere up here. You're going to see advanced editing. Click on that. It's going to open up your advanced editing toolbar. And if I click on the, the bluish black arrow here, you can see that these are my buttons, right? I didn't even name them. I was so lazy. You guys can actually use the link tool if you want to. So what you do is go to the link tool, click and drag, create the link. It's going to say, all right, well, what do you want to do? I would actually make an invisible rectangle. Come to Custom Link, click Next, and it'll take you into this appearance and actions. Actions are we, where we want to be, okay? That's if you guys didn't make a button, all right? Now, I'm going to cancel that because I don't want it. I'm going to get rid of that. I made a button, so what I'm going to do is double-click on the button, and I'm basically where you guys would be if you created that link. I'm going to say, on mouse up, we're going to do something called Set Layer Visibility. It's already an action in here. This is pretty cool. Now, before I add it, I need to make sure that I set it or, you know, put it where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is come over here, and this is the Spain button. So I'm going to turn off the Portugal and the Portugal text. Now, this is the odd part, you guys. You're going to see it actually, you can't touch it. It dims. It's because it deselects the button. So I click back on the button, set the layer of visibility, click Add. It's going to say, oh, well, we're going to just capture what you did there, and we're good. I'll click OK. 
And there we go. I'll click close. Do the same thing to the Portugal button. I'll click on that one. Turn on and off. I'll just do it right now. Turn on and off the stuff I want, don't need. I'll double click back on the button. Action, mouse up, set layer visibility, click add. There we go. Now, I'll click close and I'll test it out. To test it out, you guys, anytime you do this kind of thing, you want to go back to the hand tool. It's pretty much the default state. I'll click on Spain. I'll click on Portugal. And there we go. If you look at the layers on, over on the left. You guys, this is, it, there's tons of stuff you can do. And I know this is probably going to open up more questions like, well, can I do this? Can I have an animate? Can I blah? In short, kind of, yes. I mean, somewhat. <laughs> if you guys know JavaScript, there's actually an Acrobat JavaScript specification. There's tons of cool stuff you guys can do with the JavaScript. Um, I guess I shouldn't say, not as much as you'd think, but there are some cool things you guys can do. So let's suppose you guys want to create a map out here, and you want to make it so that they click on certain things, certain map objects show up, or, I mean, anything. Think of it. You can do it. So anyway, nice little tip for being able to work in Acrobat.